So the real secret to using the RLS press tool is making sure your pipe is prepped like really, really well. Like get all the burrs off, like all of that needs to come off. All the scratches, we need to get all of this stuff off in order to use a press fitting. Because if you don't, guess what? You're going to have a leak. So there is skill involved in this. And if you don't do it right, you're going to screw it up. So it comes with, in this kit, it comes with this reamer. There is an outside reamer and an inside reamer. So we want to clean that pipe really, really well. So there's some writing on that pipe there. It's super important to get rid of that. So you're going to take the scotch right pad and you're going to clean that up really, really well. You got to get all the deep scratches out. If you don't do that, you're going to have issues. So people say that this is not a skill. Well, it's definitely a skill in the prepping that's involved. You also got a little brush there to just make sure that you get these burrs off, right? We can do it to both sides. We're going to make sure they're reamed out real nice outside, inside, and then we're going to go again with the scotch bright pad and make sure it's nice and clean. So that's what our pipe should look like right there. Super clean, no burrs. All right, very, very clean and polished. So what we want to do is use the appropriate depth gauge, put the pipe in, right? And then we want to mark it right at the, at the spot where it goes in, just like that. You see that there. So what we want to do is inspect the coupling. Very, very important. Look for damage to the O-rings inside. If there's damage, discard it. But I haven't seen one yet from the product I've got that's got any damage in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push the fitting on until we reach our, our marker. Right there. So you can see the mark has met up. And now we're going to press it. Okay, so... The tool does not have a battery in it. It does not have a jaw in it yet. All right, here's the 7 8 jaw right here. Now, the jaw goes in this piece. What we got to do is spin this and open it up. And then we put the jaw in place. There's a round piece there. We put it in place so it lines up with this. Push it in, and that's it. So now we're going to put the battery in. I got two batteries charged up here and we're going to put it through a cycle in order to calibrate with the new jaw on it. Okay. Okay. It's calibrated. The other cool thing about this is it can rotate as well. So if you're working and you need to rotate it, you can do that. No problem. It's fairly easy to do. So we open up the jaw, just pressing it down with our fingers there. It's spring loaded. There's, two pieces on the coupling here we want to match up inside the jaw opening so we just put it in like that and you can see these very easy when you're doing it so they line up inside just like that if I open it up you can sort of see those openings right there that line up with those two pieces so now so now we're gonna press this You can see the work light on there. So that is now pressed. We open that up. And one important thing you got to look for here, guys, is the RLS stamp right there. That lets you know that it's properly pressed. Pretty cool. So next, we use the crimp gauge, okay? So I showed you where the RLS stamp was, which is right here. So what you do is you take the crimp gauge for 7 8 you stick it on there. Now that fits on there nicely. If that doesn't fit on there, it's under crimped and you're going to have to do it again. So that's it guys. Very, very simple. 
There's skill involved in the cleaning and deburring, and you have to take notice of what you're doing with sizing up with the depth gauge, all right? Crimping with the tool properly and then checking with the depth gauge afterwards. So I'm pretty impressed with this tool so far, guys. I can't wait to get it out onto a job site. Happy HVACing.